Hello, my name is Les Litwin. I'm the Technical Sales Director of Antrica. Today I wanted to explain to you how we integrate artificial intelligence with our range of UAV miniature video encoders and decoders. So on the screen I'm showing you the basic block diagram of the new ANT1776. This is a H.264, H.265 video encoder. So as you can see at the top we have a variety of video inputs here. Uh, these are added into a video frame buffer and then we use an IMX8 to uh, encode these into either H.264 or H.265. We support a number of parallel video inputs here so we could support HDMI, HDSDI, USB, uh, camera link, uh, analog, quad analog, the, the list is quite extensive and you can connect these in multiple combinations and stream at the same time. So this chip or this, uh, this video encoder is ideal for multi-camera applications. So this is the basic unit without AI fitted and as you can see video input at the top and Ethernet output at the bottom and some serial data. So that's the basics of any video encoder and obviously out the Ethernet we would get H.264 streams in either RTSP or MPEG-TS. Now if we want to uh, move on and add the AI version this is a, an option of two or three different products that we sell where we have a PCI Express on the IMX8 processor which is here and we can effectively add a mezzanine or a production build option to add this chip called the Halo 8. Now Halo 8 is a chip produced by Halo. It is probably the most powerful AI accelerator uh, uh, processor on the market based on power, size, uh, performance. Um, there is, There are more powerful uh, AI accelerators, but they tend to be much bigger and draw significantly much more power and obviously physically are much bigger. We needed to go with a chip that was physically very small and the Halo 8 fits that perfectly. And then you can see at the bottom Halo 8 flash, this is where the program for the Halo 8 would reside and it would obviously perform whatever AI function has been programmed. Now we ship this product with a program called YOLO V5. Now YOLO is an open source AI um, program or AI code which allows for object tracking, object uh, detection, object classification. So effectively we can track an object, we can detect uh, that object is moving and we can also classify what type of object it is. So this is what YOLO 5 is doing for us. So it can determine if it's a, if it's a car or a person or a, or a cat or a bag or whatever the classification requirements are. So this is the basic block diagram of a 1776 AI version of our products. Now there are two ways that the customer can develop on this uh, platform without having to buy any development tools and the first is that you would want to host your application on our IMX8 processor but continue to uh, I'll just step back that's not supposed to happen uh, so continue to use the yellow version 5 uh, code for classification but instead of just uh, displaying this on the video, which is what we give for you, so we actually allow you to see all the different classification, tracking and object detection by viewing the video. But there is no way that uh, you can access that data externally to control, for example, the gimbal of a camera or to control uh, the autopilot of a drone and other applications. So what we do is we give you a development path that allows you to host your own Linux application 
on the IMX processor and this will read the data from the Halo 8 and then output it either via the Ethernet or via the serial data ports on the IMX 8. And the way we do this is we provide you with a terminal cable, you connect that to a computer, we supply you with uh, some basic drivers and other uh, information that you would require and then you would be able to host this Linux application and read the Halo 8 data and output it, thereby being able to control something with that data. Second path is that you can also develop your own custom AI code. So here you can see on the flash saying your AI code. Now, this is slightly more complex because we do not supply a Halo 8 development toolkit. This can be acquired through Halo themselves or one of their distributors, or you could use a third party that have already developed code for the Halo 8 or are willing to develop code for you. Having developed this code, we then supply you with some APIs that allow you to upload that code to the Halo 8 flash. So the, the APIs allow you to take that code, upload it through the ethernet, and then it will then reside in the flash, effectively overwriting the uh, code that's already in there. So here is an example of a product that is called the 1776 AI. Now this product supports HDSDI plus quad analog and it also has dual USB inputs. So it can support a combination of these uh, different video interfaces, as you can see here on the left in the block diagram. <coughs> we also have a local HDMI output that can be used for display purposes locally. So on this um, picture of the um, 1776 AI, you can see that at the bottom here, we've got the HDSDI connector and there are two USB connectors. And then we have a, a breakout connector that would plug into one of these sockets, uh, which would give you the quad analog. You can see the Halo 8 down at the bottom corner there. And this measures 50 by 50 millimeters in a small block. So this is one option that you can purchase which allows you to support Halo uh, Halo 8's ha sorry Halo 8 uh, the Halo 8 processor as well as um, AI code either the Yolo 5 or your own code. Another option is we are developing something called the 1776 UAV. Now this has an HDMI input. It has and a USB-C input, and it also has analog video inputs. So, and it, as it says here, we also support HDMI output. So this is a 50 by 25 millimeter board, so very small. You can see the on the picture here, you can see the USB connector, and on the bottom left, you can see that we've got a breakout cable for the HDMI. The reason for this is that HDMI is notoriously poor as a video interface when used in drones because of the mechanical constraints that it offers. So we've provided this flexible cable so that the HDMI connector, the HDMI cable can be plugged into this small board here and it doesn't, and this ribbon cable provides stress relief. The USB-C here on the left and uh, one of these connectors are used for the analog video input. Now this board also has a PCI Express breakout here on the top left hand corner and here we can actually plug in a um, Halo 8 mezzanine board to allow for this product to support AI. So you can, in future, you'll be able to buy this product as is with uh, three video interfaces with no AI and then at a later date you can plug in an AI um, mezzanine. <clears throat> so here's the block diagram as you can see uh, we have the HDMI input, the composite input, the speaker and microphone inputs and an HDMI output and there is also a USB-C on this. The Halo 8 accelerator is shown in dark blue because as I said that's a optional board and on the right here you've got um, all the other connections to memory and ethernet and so on power supply. 
So that's the 1776 UAB and there is an AI option board that can be plugged into it. Anyway, so I hope you uh, enjoyed that brief presentation on how we support the Halo 8 AI chip. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.